G'day guys and welcome to another one of my Digimon Re-Rise videos. Today we are doing a dual Digimon review. Uh, these two are out right now on Global. Um, I'm sorry I'm a touch late on these reviews, but thought I might punch them out in case you are umming and ahhing if you want to summon for these guys or not. Uh, so in this video we'll review Ogumon Bond of Bravery, the super brave version and Gabumon Bonds of Friendship, the Super Calm versions. These are straight up upgrades of their original versions, so you can use them to feed in um, into the inheritance system. So, let's start with Ogumon. Uh, what we're going to do is we'll go through his stats, his skills really quick, and then I'll give you my opinions at the end of the video, of my personal opinions on the tier list of both of these guys. So let's start with Ogumon. Uh, his stats are fairly good. His attack is quite high. Very high HP for a brave Digimon. Good speed and solid defense. I can't complain too much about their stats. Uh, how are we going to do this? We'll start with EX skill. EX skill is 576 to random enemies, 5 times 1 enemy at a time. So multi-hit. Five times, plus gives himself an auto revive, which is really nice. You're probably only going to get this off once per battle, so um, you'll get a revive in there, which is nice. Plus, it's going to hit fairly hard. Remember, it's EX, so it ignores pretty much everything. His main skill, uh, 412, two random enemies, two times. That's three enemies at a time. Uh, three turn debuff and a chance to burn. Pretty standard skill here. Multi hit on three enemies is quite good. It only hits twice though. Uh, the sub skill, 500% to all enemies, minus 80% power damage resistance and minus 40% to status abnormality resistance. Okay, again, not the best sub skill. It is all enemies. 80% power damage resistance, resistance reduction is quite good, uh, but nothing stellar there. And his passive, 50% tech damage resistance to all allies. 50% block rate to all allies, 1.5 damage to yellow enemies, and a 4,000 shield to all allies as well. Overall, like his kit, nothing really stands out. The EX skill is great with that revive, but other than that, the rest of his kit, I feel, is kind of bland. Let's jump over to the um, Gammon now. Uh, same thing, stats pretty similar to the Ogamon. Um, very solid all around. Oh, I forgot to talk about Ogamon's um, plugins. Speed on his attack plugins is amazing. Defense, plus he's got special plugins which give him crit and power. This did actually get slightly buffed um, on Global as well. Back to the Gabumon now. Uh, his EX skill is all a single enemy 3200 percent damage that should be percent not uh, flat damage there and let's all allies evade to attack so actually quite good uh could be good in clash battle get a fair bit of damage off main skill uh random enemy three times one enemy at a time so multi-hit three times uh 727 percent damage plus 60 percent crit rate to all allies and stacks tech so as you can see, that's going to be quite good in Clash Battle. That's what, like 2100 uh, multiply or damage multiplier. No crit multiplier there, plus his stacks tech, so not too bad. His sub skill um, is 2000% damage to a single enemy. Again, a really high multiplier. Minus 65% uh, defense is really good as well, plus one stack of evasion for everyone. This reminds me of uh, Banjo Leon. His sub skill does a similar sort of thing. And a passive skill. The exact opposite of the Ogamon. This is power damage resistance, minus block rate instead of block plus block, block rate. Um, extra damage to yellow again, and cooldown reduction for himself and all calm or super calm allies. So, a nifty little passive there. That cooldown reduction is quite good, plus yellow kill is always good. Plugins, we've got speed, which is great again, HP, which is great, and that critical plus tech with the special plugins there which are really cool as well um so i'll give you my final thoughts on these guys and you can decide if you want to summon for them or not i guess we start with the uh Ogamon bonds of bravery super brave type uh let's start with clash battle nothing spectacular here for this guy he's probably leans a bit more towards multi-enemy um kind of events 
I'm going to give him B tier for Clash Battle. I don't think he's that amazing in Clash Battle. Um, in the Underworld Dungeon, the uh, standard, I guess, yeah, B+. Plus. Like, he's not going to be amazing in the Underworld Dungeon. Um, no cooldown reduction in his kit. Uh, nothing that can really, like, substantially take the enemies out or su provide any support for your team. So, no X antibody either. So, yeah, stick with that. And PvP, of course. He is all right in PvP. That um, EX skill can hit really hard in PvP, plus a self-revive there. I'm going to give him A tier in PvP. And finally, longevity for this guy. I'm going to give him B plus tier. I don't think he's going to be fantastic. He kind of falls off really hard. There's some super powerful, um, super brave Digimon coming really soon. So this guy will fall off pretty quickly, I think. Honestly, uh, Ogamon, final thoughts on this guy. Uh, he can be okay as a hard hitter in PvP, but definitely not the best Digimon. And the Gabamon, Bonds of Friendship, super calm version. Uh, let's start with Clash Battle. I'm going to give this guy... Ooh, I'm going to give him S tier for Clash Battle. If you're running a tech team, really good. Uh, cooldown reduction, sub skill hits hard, main skill hits hard. And EX skill hits hard, all on single targets, plus a bit of evasion. Um, definitely really solid in Clash Battle. In the Underworld Dungeon, I'm going to give him B tier. He's not good in the Underworld Dungeon. Doesn't hit a lot of enemies at once. He does have that cooldown reduction, but that's about it going for him in the Underworld Dungeon. And finally, PvP. Again, not too great. I'm going to give him A tier in PvP. Not much really going for him. Like he does provide some evasion, I guess, but his single target skills hold him back a little bit in the uh, in PvP. Finally, longevity. I'm going to give this guy a minus tier for longevity simply because he is really good in clash battle and he can help you if you're running a tech team or some calm allies get the cooldown down and hit hard with pretty much all of his skills, which are kind of clash battle oriented. So. Final thoughts on this guy, um, definitely I think oh, this guy's more Clash Battle focused, the uh, Ogamon is more PvP focused, uh, this guy probably performs better in Clash Battle than Ogamon does in PvP, that's my personal thoughts anyway. Guys, let me know down below, how do you rate these Digimon, are you summoning, do you think they look awesome, are you hyped for them anyway, you're going to splash a few Digirubies, let me know down below, and if you do have them, I'm not going to be summoning for these guys, but if you do have them, let me know how they go, what setups you're running them on, and how they're performing. I definitely love to see it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!